Hey everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be working on this pressure washer. This is not the pressure washer. This is the engine for the pressure washer. That's the pressure washer. We're going to be putting a pump on this, but before we do that, there's a right up under here, there's a camshaft that comes down through. There's no ring and it's got a leak in it. So we're going to change that O ring first. So stick around. Okay, so there's four bolts on this thing. We had to, this was my friend's, he ended up giving it to me. We had to put a, uh, a rocker arm in this thing. Last year I think it was. So I've had this off here before, but there's a seal down under here that's leaking. It's not a seal. It's an O-ring. These things are a pain to get off sometimes. And you want to be careful and try not to bend this up too bad. But I didn't know at the time it was a seal leak and I thought it was this gasket because they are notorious for leaking. So, to save you from the boredom of me trying to pry this thing off of here, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this off and I'll bring you back. Okay, it's almost impossible not to bend these things, but just make sure you get it straightened out. Now this is a camshaft. Well, this is your camshaft. This is your cam gear. And so what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to pop this out just a little bit. Right there is the O-ring. Can you see that? Right there is the O-ring. So all the that's all the farther I'm going to take it out because I don't want to have to put this thing back in time. I know it's in time now because it runs, it just leaks a little oil. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I have a dental pick here that I'm gonna use to pop this O-ring out of here. You would think, it's Honda, you would think they would come up with a better solution than this. There's the O-ring. It's real, real brittle. As you can see, it cracked. Uh, so I have my O-ring kit here. Make sure when you use these O-rings that they're good for oil. Let's see if I can find the right one here. I'm not sure if that's it or not. We're about to find out. Went up there real easy. I don't know. Make sure you lube it up, but in this case, it's already got a oil on it. So what I'm going to do, is I've got some of this stuff. This shaft does not turn, okay? It does not turn. All it does is hold your cam gear on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a paper towel. I'm going to clean that up real good. And I'm just going to put some of this stuff on it. Then I'm going to clean this all off. With a wire brush. And uh, this is a drill Dennis gave me. Thank you, Dennis. Um, I use that thing a lot. And then I'm going to push that up in there. Like I said, I'll put some of the sealer around here and I'm going to push it up in there. And, uh, geez, neighbor hollering for his dogs. Every day. 
lets his dogs out and just lets them run and holler for a half an hour. Sometimes he's got to go looking for them. Jeez. Um, you know, take care of your animals, people. Let me see. I got a better O-ring I think will fit better on this one. Well, more like the size, I think. Let me pull this one out. Because you should... Sometimes you got to tap these things back in. Because they're such a snug fit. So if you got one of these Hondas like this, and you see drip oil dripping down the bottom of it, that's this could be the problem. Let's check that O-ring. There, that looks like a better fit. But I am going to go ahead and put some of the sealer on here anyway. Just to make sure. So, let me get something to open this. My cap broke. When I screwed it on one day, the cap broke and I didn't know it. Now it's all hardened up here at the end. I tried to drill it out, but so I'm going to cut this corner off here. So I can put sealer on everything. So let me get this stuff cleaned up and I'll be back with you. Okay, let's go ahead and put this back on. Without trying to make too big of a mess. Now, the reason why I'm not putting a gasket on here is they don't make a gasket for it. And the reason why they don't make a gasket for it is because it never had a gasket out of the factory. So, that's why you don't put gaskets on these. <laughs> I'm just going to snug them down right now. And I'm going to let it set for about 30 minutes. And then I'll do my final tightening with a regular ratchet. That way I don't over tighten it. That This thing's got some torque. It's just uh, Harbor Freight. It got that like, what, five years ago or something like that. All right, so... Now that should be that. I guess one good thing about this being like this, I, I can, you know, kind of make it real tight there and put it in a plastic bag. Because I'm sure I'm going to need that on the Toyota. We got, the head's going to be here Monday. And I think the rebuild kit's coming tomorrow. So once I get the garage cleaned out, we'll get into that. Okay, so now the next thing we've got to do, clean that shaft because, well, you want it clean to put the new pump on. Oh, well, you've probably seen it in the title, but we're replacing the pump. <laughs> So I'm going to clean that off. That's kind of boring, I know. So I'll clean that off off camera. And uh, we'll get ready. I got to put the pressure washer up here. We'll put the engine on, then the pump on. Because the pump, the pump bolts are actually the motor mount bolts too. So... So it's funny because... Well, it's not funny, it's kind of stupid, but if you look at that right there, there's the shaft that comes down, get you centered here, there's the shaft that comes down out the uh, cam shaft, 
comes down here and this thing here for the valve cover comes down like that just to keep that shaft from turning so you you would have thought they would have came up with a better idea than that but i am going to go ahead and i'm going to clean that shaft then we'll get this thing up here and we'll get the pump in that box out and we'll see if it's going to work okay on here okay let's go ahead open up our box here neatly packaged this was unbelievably cheap 60 some bucks I think okay. now what's going to be different there's going to be something different from this than the old one is the old one had longer pieces to come out to put your um, your hoses on okay they came out to like here but as long as i got room it's it should be all right um i think it comes with a new key but that keys that key stayed on the engine so it does come with a well new filter and hose for your soap and stuff here's the bolts yes there is a new key there but we're not going to need the key. Open bolts are long enough. Okay. Should be a direct fit. All right. So now, we'll move this out of the way. Um. Yeah, so he just gave this to me, and uh, he said, you know, get you some parts for it, and you probably sell it. And like I told Monkey, I said, you know, I should go ahead and get the parts for that pressure washer and just sell it. She said, or you can go ahead and get the pressure, get the parts for the pressure washer and keep it. She was right. We do need one. So, okay, put that down there. I'm going to get the pressure washer up here and we'll get the motor set on it and we'll get everything hooked up. I'm going to have to go get a couple wrenches. Alright, hang tight guys. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is set the engine on and then I'll spin you around so you can see the pump. It's going to go on under here. Now I can't flip it up because of course the engine will fall off. But the pump is going to go well I should have put this in here first. But the pump is going to go up in here. Like so. Alright. So, let me get that started because you're not going to be able to see anything. All I'm going to do is get it started on the shaft. I may have to turn the shaft or whatever. And, uh, and just start the bolts up through and then I'll tighten them. Okay, so the sun went away. But here's what we got going on. I had to turn the engine around because the pump was for rear which that's what it came off of and i wasn't thinking this is front so all i did was just turn the motor around and uh i just had to drill two holes but i have to go get bolts because the bolts they sent aren't long enough and for some reason i cannot find bolts for this thing and i kept them because i knew i was going to be probably either rebuilding that other pump or um putting a new pump on this so i saved the bolts and i don't know what i did with them so i gotta go get some new bolts so stick around guys i'm sorry the sun left us 
but I was I wanted to do this out back in the sun because it, it was chilly so let me go get some bolts and I'll be back with you okay guys as you can see it's dark out pumps on Oops, sorry I was thinking I was looking at the old pump it doesn't have the extensions it's just like this so uh, I gotta put some oil in it and some gas I did drain the gas and I ran it out so oh I gotta put this on this new hose I'm gonna put the new hose on we'll take it out front I got a new wand and new hose for it we'll take it out front and give it a shot the reason why it's so late is we was down at the end of the street down here at the gas station watching sick week cars go past so it's just a quick video I got a few of them but uh, I'll throw that video up after this one so stick around guys let's get this out front and uh, I got to pick up some tools it's not that late but it is uh, it is evening time it's only what 652 so yeah um, awesome all right guys let me get that put in there all I got to do is just shove that hose in there and put the uh, the filter on it so cool and it plugs in right down there with that little that little black valve right there plugs in there and up here that's the outlet wait a minute what's this one for I think that's the one for the I'm not sure I'll have to check it out all right guys hang tight and we'll bring this around front and try it out okay so what what I did I wanted to clarify this this pump that was on here was taken off and put on the other guys and it came out where this tank was right which his tank was here so since he didn't want the tank it's got a busted nipple on it but I'm gonna use that as a gas tank his his came out here that's why I was thinking that so uh, yeah <laughs> so I got the kind of like a left and right mess up but that's okay I got to bolt it on there I just drilled a new hole here and a new hole here and it bolted up and one back here on this side you can't see it because it's down underneath okay so all right again let's get some oil in it and some gas and we'll take it out front and try it out with our new wand uh, this is 3000 psi pump well pump <laughs> and I got a 4,000 pound or 4,000 psi wand and hose so that way if I ever want to upgrade this I can awesome okay guys I know you can't see much but I'm gonna start this up and then we're gonna spray some water down here on this concrete right there and see how well it does well, let's see if it'll run first. It's on, gas is on. Choke's on.
trying to get another nozzle. I put all the nozzles up in the holes <laughs> up there on top. I can't get them out. <laughs> so I'm gonna try another nozzle. If I can get it out of here. <laughs> I just put them in. second that was stupid I had to use pliers to get it out all right let's see here can't see much but There it is, guys. Yeah, man, I popped them in there, and how they don't want to come out. They're in there super duper tight. <laughs> I heard that rattling noise. I thought I had a wrist pin slapping or something, but it's just this thing rattling. These wheels are all plastic, but I have a set of pneumatic wheels and tires I want to put on there. So it'll be easier to wheel around so i'm going to start this back up and there we go and let it run the fuel out of the bowl of the carburetor and i think we're good to go that's pretty good that's uh what 25 yeah the first one we had it on here we had this one on then i went to that one this is zero and that's for soap and stuff over there so i didn't put the hose in yet but i'm going to uh yeah because in order to put that filter on you got to put your hose in there and then fish it up so you can put the filter on and then put it back down in but so it works fine it'll be good for washing the vehicles and uh yeah, so now I gotta do the whole driveway, but not tonight. <laughs> so there you go, Monk. I built you one. I gotta clean it up and stuff. There you go, Monk. I built that just for you. <laughs> Cause I took the engine. What was it? 
I can't remember. I did a couple videos on them. And then the pump went bad in his other one, so I took the pump off this one and put on the other one. That's what it was. So, all right, guys. There we go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Sorry that we had to do this in the dark, but... Yeah, this thing's been sitting around the side of the house covered up. Of course, the motor wasn't bolted on. It was just laying there with a tarp over it. Hasn't been running several months. And you've seen it fire up, so... That's got high test. It's got 93 octane in it. I just put in it because I had to get some for the vet, which the video is coming up for that. I'm going to pull the the uh, the fuel filter off of it from the looks of that fuel injector I had in there. I'm going to pull the fuel filter off, backflow the fuel line, blow anything out of the fuel line, and then, and then you know, I'll put the fuel filter on and I'll put some... Uh, fuel injector cleaner in it. I usually don't use that stuff because if it cleans your injectors, it cleans everything all the way up through it and can actually clog your injectors. But since I'm going to blow the line out, I think it'll be all right. So yeah, there it goes. So I'm gonna start up, let it run the fuel out, and we're good to go. Uh, I just checked that pump was $55 on Amazon. So uh, this wand is, uh like 40 bucks so i got like 90 bucks in pressure washer cool all right guys thanks for watching shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gone for now don't forget to check out monkey 1000 channel appreciate it and uh hey go give uh dennis hobbacker a visit he's the one that gave me the drill i was using earlier with the uh with the wire wire wheel on it so thanks dennis all right we'll see you guys soon bye bye and take care